Hello ladies and gentlemen, Lonnie Mattingly here on behalf of North Harrison Baptist Church welcoming you to Mid-Morning Manna. And I'm glad you've tuned in today. We're on every day Monday through Friday uh, right at 10 o'clock, give or take a minute or two one side or the other. And we run for about 10 minutes long and always end with a beautiful song that I think you'll enjoy from Faith Music Missions. And I hope you'll tune in to those people sometime. Uh, go on the website and uh, go to faithmusicmission.org and uh, see what all they have to offer. Some wonderful, wonderful things there and a lot of beautiful music. And I think you would enjoy it all. Well, we've been talking this week uh, about, I started yesterday, uh, talking about steps to victory in Christ. And I said yesterday, and using Proverbs chapter 3, and, and beginning in verse 5, and on down through verse 7, and uh, talking about uh, stop relying on self. If you're going to have victory in Christ, you can't rely on self. You need to learn to rely on Christ and rely on God and allow Him to do a work in your heart. Remember, it said, trust in the Lord. With all thine heart, lean not to thine own understanding. And that's what God wants us to do is to put our trust in him and get his directions for our life. Today, on this Tuesday, March the 16th, I want you to think about this. Not only do we need to stop relying on self, start relying on God, but let God know you're relying on him. You say how? By crying out to him. Crying out to God, and uh, for a number of things, uh, crying out to God, let him know where you're feeling weak or if you have some fear or whatever it is. When something seems to have gone wrong in your life, cry out to God. Let him be your help. Let him be your sustainer. Quit trying to be a self-made man. Talked about that just a little bit yesterday as well. But what I'm thinking about specifically, if you want to have success and uh, in victory in your Christian life and in following Christ, then, ladies and gentlemen, not only do you need to stop relying on yourself, but you need to cry out to God, repenting of known sin in your life. You see, I know there are people that say, well, you know, I'm doing pretty good. I don't think I do anything that bad. Well, I don't know how bad that bad is, but I do know the Bible says that there's not a just man on earth that doeth good and sinneth not, that even those of us who are saved, ladies and gentlemen, we need to keep short accounts with God. That's why he said in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He wasn't talking to lost people there. He was talking to Christians because God knows and you and I know that we all sin, we have, we get bad attitudes, we say things that are wrong, sometimes we see things that are wrong, sometimes we act out and, and uh, we get jealousy or anger or something else and we don't get along with people that we're supposed to be loving and on and on I could go, there's so many things and you know what yours is and I know what mine is and God knows what both of ours is and so what am I going to do? If I'm going to be have victory in the Lord Jesus Christ as a Christian, then I quit. I do need to stop relying on myself, but I also need to cry out to God, repenting of sin and of known sin in my life. And over in 1 John, I, I want you to turn over there and or jot that down. 1 John chapter number 1. I'm going to begin reading in verse number 5. It says, this then is the message we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. But if we walk in the light, oh, I'm sorry, let me see, that was verse five, listen to verse six. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Well, we've committed a sin right then. You know, go to church, tell everybody, yeah, everything's great. I'm, I'm walking in the light. I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to. And you know in your heart of hearts that you're not doing what you're supposed to do, that this week you've had a bad attitude. You, you, you did a little backdoor requisitioning from your office where you work or whatever else it might be. And you know you're guilty before God. But it goes on to say, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all, from all sin. Now, let me read that whole thing again, Start with verse 5. I want you to get this. I want you to apply it in your life. Listen. He said, this then is the message that we have, that we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. 
If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. Now listen to verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Ladies and gentlemen, you can try to cover it up, you can try to hide it, you can deny it, but all you're doing is breaking fellowship with God. You're not able to walk with God. You're relying again on self instead of relying on him, and you need him, and you need him desperately in your life, moment by moment, day by day, every day of your life. And so that's why he put verse 9, the very next verse. He said, if we confess our sins, that's plural, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have no sin or that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us just to come clean with God on a daily basis, on a regular basis, keeping those short accounts with God and confessing sin moment by moment as we go through the day. And then at the end of the day, maybe just stop and in our prayer time, take a little extra time to say, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, you know, the, with the Lord uh, in the Lord's prayer. And here he said, if we confess our sin, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Why in the world would you let those sins backlog by the next day? You've even forgot half the sins you committed. And the best time to confess them is immediately. But especially then at the end of the day, don't let the day end. Don't go to sleep without getting a clean account with God. Confess your sin, let him cleanse you, let him help you, and then ask him to give you the courage and the strength and the power and the wisdom and the insight to not go over the next day and do the same stupid stuff over again. Ask God to give you the help you need. And if you need to get counsel with somebody, then, then do that, and we'll talk more about that tomorrow. But let God be a blessing to you. Confess your sin. Get right with God. You want to have that relationship with Christ. You, 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 want to, you, you want to have that victory. Then step number two, get the sin out of your life. And when you have sin, confess it to God. Get his forgiveness. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the time we've had today on Mid-Morning Manna. I pray, Lord, that the folks that have friends and loved ones that need to hear this message, they'll share it with them. Make comments and other things, Lord. Just thank you, Lord, for your people at North Harrison Baptist Church and others that tune in from other places. I pray you'll bless them, encourage them. Help us, Lord, to be an encouragement to God's people to do the right things. Help us to do the right things. And we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm a When with trouble here I sigh, I go home beyond the river that I'll enter by and by. I go home beyond the river, I go match and bright and fair. I go home beyond the river, I will dwell. Above. Sweeter still to see the Savior, praise Him for redeeming love. I will home, I will home beyond the river, river, shining river. I will home beyond the river, I will home beyond the river, I will home beyond the shining river, I will dwell with Jesus there, I will dwell with
with Jesus there. I will dwell with Jesus.